What's going on guys and gals I guess if any any gals watch this but I doubt it but anyways got an unboxing for you here I got the uh, sundown e series five and a quarters so you know me let's just jump right into this shit for some reason it came in a Rockford Fosgate box that's interesting I guess speaking of which what box is this Rockford what I didn't say Okay. All right. Got all this from Wolfers, etc. Highly recommended. They've been doing me right for a while now. In fact, I've got a U Series Sundown 8 coming from them as well, still. So. Okay. Here we go. General specs 50 RMS per driver. For those of you that don't know, Sundown rates their drivers per speaker. So when they say 50 watts, it means 50 watts per speaker. Not uh, like some speakers will have, uh, you know, 50 watts max and it's 25 watts per, per speaker or whatever. So, all right, let's see what we get here. Two Sundown stickers. Yay, I guess. And I get some grills. Just your basic generic grills and some looks like some uh, beetle rope. So you can stick the grills in and make sure they stay in there and all that stuff. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Now the bread and butter here. The good stuff. Looks like it also comes with some wiring and mounting hardware. Just like the 6x8s I did a video of do. Let me get this set down here. One second, guys. Get one of these out of the package. All right. Now these uh, are currently around a hundred dollars. Um, I think around a hundred and five dollars or something like that. I'm not too sure offhand, but. I like how it has the cooling down here on the basket as well. You don't see that too often on uh, regular old speakers. This is the E5.25 CX series. And... Uh, if you're looking for some five and a quarters, I mean, even though I've not listened to these yet, I have the 6x8s and man, they sound great. And for an awkward size for the 6x8, if you're looking for 6x8s and you don't necessarily want to spend the money on like a focal set or some other higher end sound quality set, but you also don't want to cheap out and go with some Pioneer, some Walmart or something like that, and you want some that's a little above average, then these would be great. These are awesome. They sound fantastic. Um, the tweeter's not too harsh. Uh, in fact, these are going to go up on the on the dash where I have the Audio Legion 6.5s up there currently. They're in some little pods. They don't sound too bad up there, but it's a little uh, overwhelming for having a 6.5 screaming in your face. So... I'm going to put these up there. They won't be a whole lot better, but it'll be a little bit further back and uh, they'll blend in a little bit better with the doors since they're going to be the same kind and all that stuff. So, so yeah. The tweeter is not adjustable or anything like that. It's just 
stationary or whatever you want to call it. Um, the magnet though is a little bit bigger than average. On the 6x8 especially, I had to uh, use an, a, a spacer to fit that. So if you plan on putting those in your factory, like Ford locations or whatever, then be prepared. I actually had to use the, uh, the grill uh, <clears throat> thing for an adapter, a spacer on mine for the doors because they wouldn't fit otherwise. They would hit the window or the window would roll down and hit those. And that's not good. So... Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's it. Just a quick video. Um, I might try to do a listening, uh, a music video with these. It's just kind of hard to, you know, with YouTube copyright. It's, I mean, they just bust your balls on anything. Even if you uh, apparently use the allotted 10 second uh, clips that you're allowed to use or whatever, they still just bust your ass over it. So, and the YouTube copyright free music just kind of sucks. Um, but I'll see if I can't find something that'll kind of show the detail of these and clarity and stuff. But all right, guys, that's been the sundown five and a quarters. Hope you enjoy. Have a good one.